Well, from gas prices to food prices, inflation is impacting all of us in a variety of ways. You may have also noticed it the last time you went out to eat. 4029's Paul Petit live in Rogers now with how a local restaurants are responding. Paul. Yeah, Brad, I spoke to two restaurant operators who told me inflation is tough to navigate right now. If you're paying more at the grocery store and at the gas station, then they're paying more for food and for food delivery. That's why some menu prices have gone up. Many Arkansans have noticed a bit of a price bump last time they ate out. All the beverages have gone up, even tea, even Coke, things like that. Instead of them being a dollar or dollar fifty, now they're two ninety eight and three ninety eight. The operating partner at Walk-Ons and Rogers says they've not raised menu prices yet, but they're feeling the pinch. For instance, so limes and avocados right now are almost five times the price that they were four or five months ago. Um, we're talking over $100 for a case of limes, um, 75 to 80 for a case of avocados, uh, things that are, have not been that much in a long time. And what were you, how much did they used to be typical? Uh, roughly 21 to 25, depending on the year and the season. According to the U.S. Department of Labor statistics, fast food prices have increased 8% in the last year. For example, this is my receipt from Chick-fil-A in 2020. $3.99 for a Greek yogurt parfait, $7.09 for a sandwich meal, and $3.99 for a chicken sandwich. Well, today those prices are $4.39 for the yogurt, $7.89 for the meal, and $4.29 for the sandwich. That's a 10% increase. Uh, if you're a restaurant, you're looking at higher food prices. Um, you know, there's an overall labor shortage in general in the economy because there are fewer people working. And here's something else you might see at a restaurant just like I did last weekend, a temporary inflation fee. There's quite a few different places around town who have signs up on the front door that says, we don't have enough people to serve you. So there's going to be a, a higher cost to serve. But I mean, I think restaurants have two options. They could either raise menu prices across the board, um, just you know, raise the prices of each menu item a little bit uh, or charge sort of a fee uh, for inflation. So the next time you go out for a bite, be prepared in case your bill bites back. It makes it very, very, very challenging uh, to where we have to just kind of roll with the punches and we have to adapt on the fly. And it's been kind of a uh, it's been a thing that we've we've become our new normal. Uh, Jabaraj also told me that restaurants need to be careful if they do place one of those uh, temporary inflation fees on a bill. Well, they need to be sure to remove it once inflation prices stabilize. Otherwise, it could be bad for business. We're live in Rogers, Paul Petit, 4029 News.